Hello friends, in this lecture we will be discussing about REST API. So before heading to this, we will be discussing how REST API works and what it is and what is the nature of the REST API. So first question, what is an API? By definition on Google, a set of functions and procedures along that creation of application that access the features of data of an operating system application or uh, services. I know this is quite hard to understand through this definition. So the abbreviation of an API is full form of API is application programming interface. So what is the importance of API? We'll know what is an API, how does it work through this entire video which I have prepared on slides so first important they allow the capabilities of one pro computer program to be used by another for example one program is written in c sharp while other is written on another language but they can communicate to each other with the use of apis because the data which they send to each other to communicate is common between them they are a means by two by which two pro different programs are able to communicate. Programs can communicate between each other irrespective of their platforms. An API plays an important role in IoT, Internet of Things, as it bridges the communication gap between the machines and computer or mobile devices using HTTP requests. So here I'll be covering about real life example which you can compare to an API so for example you are in a restaurant and you went to a restaurant suddenly uh, the waiter appears and with a menu so you place an order to the from the menu to the waiter then the waiter rushes to the to the kitchen and takes your order and tells it to the chef what to prepare cook prepares the food for you then waiter brings back that cooked food to the customer and finally the customer gets his food so this is a real life example our unsung hero is here waiter now if we take about a digital example so here is the rest api example so for example there's a database and this is a rest api you can consider it like a packet which activates when it is called by some program requested through some url so for example there's a client server which is running on some computer and as well as one more let's assume that this service uses mobile applications too so for example either of the either of the devices are requesting something from here they want to get some data from the database but they need to someone to carry on his data so which is the end point of the server uh, which accepts uh, some request from the data uh, accepts uh, some data from the client in the form of a json format so it takes, it processes, it gets the data out from the database, whatever the customer is requesting, whatever the client side is requesting. So, and it sends back the JSON. What is JSON? I'll, I'll talk about this further in this video. So, first of all, we have to know what are the types of API requests. So first one is the GET. GET requests are used to request data API, which sends back data from the database. It's very simple very easy to use you can go to type a code json placeholder and use it in your application or program second one is the post request post request is quite secure one it is a post request which sends a json object and usually used to create a resource, new resource or authentication then there's a put request Put requests are used to update the existing data. Whatever existing data is available, we, if the user want to update that data in the server, he or she can use put request. Then the delete request. Delete request by its name, it is self-explanatory. Delete request to delete the database records and documents on the server. So as I said, I'll be talking about JSON object too. So what is JSON? This is a simple logo for the JSON object. So JSON stands for JavaScript Object Notation. JSON is a lightweight format for storing and transporting data. JSON is often used when the data is sent from the server to a web page or any mobile application describing 
and easy to understand so there are some syntax rules for the writing a json object so data is a name or key value pairs data is separated by commas in this curly braces hold the object square braces hold arrays so i have also prepared one example of the json data so for example it is a json data so as by the definition it says curly braces are used to hold the data so here this curly braces are holding the data in which employees array has been passed and employees array consists of various objects which consists of first name and the last name of the user so here john doe is the first name and last name and as it was stated that it should be in the single uh, double quotes as it's a key value pair so this is a json data object so a name and a value json data is written as a name value pair just like javascript object properties that's why it is called javascript object notation now the second one a name value pair consists of a field name in a double quotes followed by a colon followed by a value so this is the colon this is the value this is the key this is the value see it's very simple very easy to use very handy and it's very lightweight so coming json object json objects are written inside curly braces just like in the javascript object can contain multiple name and name or value pairs same is the json object so for example this is a sample json object which consists of a key and the value both are in the curly braces separated by a colon and if we have too many most of the part we'll be learning in the json crash course tutorial which i'll be uploading later on now talking about the json arrays how json how to handle json arrays so json arrays are written in a square brackets just like in the javascript an array consists of contain, can contain objects so here which we the data which we send from the server let's say is this so this is the employees employees is the key of this array which consists of other objects inside it thanks if you like the content please subscribe my channel